Hey guys, Franklin Lorenzo and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to capture motion while still freezing set motion in your photos. Now in order to be successful with this technique you need the following. You're going to need an all black room or a place where the background is completely black and the reason being is if it's not completely black is the subject is going to be transparent which is something you want to avoid with this technique. One way that you can accomplish that is by putting grids on your light so that way it doesn't spill onto the background. You will also need at least one constant light source which is the light you're going to use to capture the motion. So you have to make sure that you expose for that. In my case today, I'm shooting at 6.3 with a LED light and I got the correct exposure at 3.5 seconds, which is what I wanted. Additionally, you want to set up your flash for the last part of the exposure to illuminate the subject. In this case, I'm using a Profoto B10 and I'm shooting at nine out of 10 power. What you also want to do is set a start and end point for the model and based on that information you will set your focus and then set the camera or the lens to manual focus because you don't want the lens to be hunting in the, the middle of the darkness um, and because you're already shooting at f6.3 pretty much anything within one two feet uh, of difference will be in focus anyway. You want to make sure that you use a tripod and set your sync for the flash to second curtain sync. In some companies, they call it rear curtain sync. Basically, your shutter has two components and when it opens, the flash usually fires on the first part of that execution. But what you want to do is set it to second curtain sync, which means the flash will fire right before the shutter closes. One important thing to do is to have the model begin movement before you hit the shutter. The reason being is that if they're standing still and then you count them off after you press the shutter, you're gonna have them in somewhat a little bit of freeze motion. So by the time I get to two, the model is already moving and then by the time I press the shutter, it's gonna capture all that movement which will look nice and painterly. The final two steps is just to fire it away until you get the shots that you want and then edit the photos to your taste. And go, one, two, and gorgeous. So, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell notification. Until next time, and like always, take care.